Welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna try an unknown cocktail here, something that's been lost to time a little bit, something you don't see very often on menus. It's not like a, a typical thing you would find if you walked into a, a standard bar. It's only three ingredients, so it should be a very quick and easy at home type of drink. I hope you enjoy it, and let's get to it. As a budding mixologist, I don't get all my drinks, you know, out of here. Amazing, huh? Like anyone, I have to read a lot of books. And this book right here has to be the de facto standard. This is a book by Charles Schumann, The American Bar. It is a, uh, a book that has been used for decades now by bartenders all over the world. Charles Schumann is known as the person who brought back the cocktail. So I'm always interested in finding new cocktails and new ways of mixing drinks in ways I've never even thought of. In this book here, it has a lot of them. One in particular I think it would be great to try today, just because it's kind of, you know, fallish weather, it's a little bit chilly, but I think it would be just really tasty, is something called the Velvet Hammer. Also, it's known as the Vodka Alexander, and I think it's gonna be a fun one to mix up. Let's give it a try. Ingredient number one is going to be cream, uh, which we got right here. Three quarters ounce of creme de coco, cacao, uh, not sure which way you say it, but uh, we got it right here. Of course, as our uh, balance to that there, good old vodka, ready to go ahead and use that. All right, it's a shaken drink, so we gotta shake it with ice in a shaker. So we got ice, got it in our shaker here. That's it. That's all it takes to make a Vodka Alexander or a Velvet Hammer, whichever way you want to describe it. Uh, let's give this drink by Charles Schumann a try. One ounce of cream. There's one ounce. Three quarters ounce of cream de cacao or caco, 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 caco. Okay. And then the final ingredient on this is the three quarters ounce of vodka. Okay, let's shake it up and see how this comes out. We're gonna strain it into a cocktail glass. One thing we can say for sure, it's a very pretty drink. Very beautiful, I love the color of it. I love the frothiness by by shaking it vigorously, really, really a hard shake is what they call that. You get the nice froth top on there, especially with that in the cream, obviously makes that happen. Let's try it and let's see how it actually tastes because that's just as important. Mmm, I smell a little bit of chocolate. Hi everyone, sorry to interrupt there, but I'm not sure if I just forgot or if I deleted it by mistake, but I forgot to actually explain and describe what the drink actually tastes like. On the nose of the drink, you're getting cocoa. It's just a light, it's almost like a milk chocolate more than anything. When you sip it, the temperature actually rises. As it rises, you get this flavor profile. It starts to explode. You get the complexity of chocolate. It's almost like chocolate mousse. It's very creamy. The mouth is very full, and because of that, it's almost like chewing on chocolate. It's more of a, mmm, nice, I like this. And it really does have a satisfying feel to it. The flavor profile there, when it starts to warm up, you get all these different like nutty characteristics. You get some fruit characteristics as well. It really is pretty amazing from just that one liqueur that you're getting something so complex. So. Now having said that there, let's get back to the video and the rest of it. Sorry again. One thing that I've noticed with these drinks here is they're, they're really good balanced drinks and that's exactly how I would call this one here. It's very well balanced. You would think that something that had uh, just three ingredients would have very, very little flavor, uh, but it has a very complex flavor actually. The the liqueur with the vodka, it just accentuates in this case, the vodka actually bites a little bit better uh, and it gives a nice flavor with that. Uh, of course, the cream just frosts it up, gives a nice mouth feel so it feels like something substantial. This would be a great like, cocktail after uh, a heavy meal, something just to enjoy the rest of the night with. You, won't, you don't have to have dessert, this could be your dessert, and you still get the same level of satisfaction from it. Very interesting 
I think this would be a cocktail that I would happily have on a dessert menu. It's very tasty. It has a good character to it. It's something that I think fits very well into fall, uh, very well into the holiday season or going into the holiday season. With that, cheers, enjoy. Very good cocktail, very tasty. Highly suggest trying these, especially these cocktails that are harder to find. You're not gonna find this type of thing on a standard menu generally. You're really gonna have to either make it yourself or you might be lucky and rare to find it, but for the most part, this is a something you can really make at home and, and make it right. Once again, the book is by Charles Schumann, The Great American Bar. I'll link it to in the uh, description as well. If you're into cocktails, you want to learn more about it, you want to make more, this book is just amazing. And you can already tell mine is worn. I've got stuff all over. I use it at the bar all the time. Awesome book. Definitely check it out. And then of course, if you love these kind of videos and you want to learn more about making cocktails, just join us here. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, and if you like it, hit that like button. It really helps us out to make sure that we get these videos out and others can, can view them. Until next time, enjoy your cocktail. Wonderful.